Greetings Deckers, Liam here. There has been an update to GE Proton making Overwatch 2 work smoother and better than ever. So what I'm going to do is show you how to install it in Steam directly without the use of Lutris, Bottles or any other game manager. First up we need to load the Discover Software Center and in the top left search bar enter Proton Up. Then when it finds Proton Up QT, go ahead and install that. Once installed and launched, make sure at the top it is set to Steam. Select the Add Version button at the bottom, making sure it's set to GE Proton, and install GE Proton 7-39. While it is installing, close Steam, and once it's actually finished, you can then reload Steam. This step is necessary so that the Steam Play Tools folder is actually updated. Once that is done, open up your browser, go to the Battle.net download page and download their Windows installer. When it is downloaded, open up Steam and in the bottom left corner hit Add Game, then the Non-Steam Game option. Hit the Browse button. In the file picker window that comes up, you need to select from the top drop down your home downloads folder. Then at the bottom in the drop down, select all files, and then you can actually see the Battle.net installer file you downloaded. Hit open on that, then add selected items. Now search for the Battle.net installer in your Steam library. Right click it and go to Properties. Inside here select the Compatibility menu, put a tick in the box and select the new GE Proton 7-39 that we downloaded with ProtonUp QT earlier. Now you can hit play to run the Battle.net installer. For this, I would recommend changing where you install it to make it easier to find. So hit the change link when it comes up. Then you can select the Z drive. For this example, I'll be putting it on my SD card, which you can find in run and then inside media. And it's the MMCB folder. I do need to make a Battle.net folder. So in the file manager, I can just scroll down on the left hand side to the SD card named primary at the bottom and then I'll make a Battle.net folder inside here. Back in the file picker you can just hit the back arrow and then the forward arrow so it actually updates the folder list and then just select the new folder. Then we can just install Battle.net in there. Once Battle.net is installed, close it immediately, don't log in, don't do anything. Remove the shortcut we added in Steam. Right click on it, Manage, Remove. Now we're going to add the actual Battle.net launcher to Steam. Same process as before. Hit the Add Game button on the left of the Steam client, the non-Steam game in the pop-up, and then in the file picker, just go to the folder you installed it in, and again, Select all files from the bottom of the drop down on the file picker, and then you can select the Battle.net launcher file and then add that to Steam. In your Steam library, you can now right click on this, go into the properties, the compatibility menu, tick the box again, and again select GE Proton 7 39 that we downloaded. Now you are officially all set to actually load Battle.net properly inside Steam and install Overwatch 2. For the actual install of Overwatch 2, I would again here suggest changing the location of the install, and again, I'll be doing this onto my SD card and creating a folder for it exactly as I did with the Battle.net install directly. 
just to give it a dedicated folder, it just makes it easier to find. Naturally, I will cut out the actual download from the video because it takes a long time. Once it's downloaded, back in gaming mode on the Steam Deck, you can just run Battle.net from the non-Steam section on the right of your full library. You should probably also check Steam Input with the gamepad icon and set it to basically whatever you want. If you still wish to interact with the Battle.net launcher to actually get into Overwatch 2, if you've got it set as a gamepad, you can simply hold down the Steam button and use the thumb pad. What I generally do is use gamepad with mouse trackpad and make sure that the mouse trackpad click is set to a left mouse click. It just makes messing with launchers a lot easier. And there you have it, Battle.net and Overwatch 2 installed on Steam Deck directly inside of Steam. It's pretty easy. However, sometimes, much like with other launcher apps, it won't launch and it just gives you the Steam Loading Circle of Doom. If it does, just exit with the B button and reload. It might take one or two tries, but most of the time it works okay. Thank you for listening, and I hope you found doing it that way directly through Steam quite useful, especially with the changes that are happening in GE Proton that should make it run a bit better. You will still see plenty of stuttering though, but not as bad as before and it should load quicker. Let me know what you think in the comments and I will see everyone later.